Hey kids, I'm Mr. Ronnie, and today we're learning about creative writing. And no, not that bullshit you learn in school where you like write a stupid poem or something. I'm talking about the creative writing that you actually need to learn. Lying on the internet. Because let's face it, how you come across online is way more important than how you come across in real life. I mean, how many people do you even know in person? Like 10? You can't go viral with those numbers. Screw them. So let's get started with the most important part of the internet, Instagram. Creative writing on Instagram is all about writing a good caption for your pictures. Take this photo, for example. I captioned it, so blessed to live this life. Every day is a new adventure. Just had brunch with all my friends. Hashtag lobster for breakfast. In reality, I saw that car parked outside a hotel I walked by. I have no friends. And for breakfast, I ate pizza from the night before. But this caption makes me look rich and popular, which makes everyone else feel like lazy losers. And that is the power of creative writing. Another great place on the internet for creative writing is your LinkedIn page. I mean, we all know the best way to get a job is to go to a top university. But who the hell can do that? But with the power of creative writing, you can just say you went to one. Harvard, Yale, Stanford, or Oxford. Especially Oxford, actually, because, I mean, how is anyone gonna check that? Have you tried calling a phone number in England? There's all these extra digits, there's a plus sign, it costs $100. No one is gonna check, okay, trust me. Another place you'll definitely need creative writing is your dating profile. Statistically speaking, you probably suck. That's why you gotta use words like passionate, adventurous, doesn't live with parents, six foot three. And yeah, you might be thinking, but Ronnie, I'm five foot seven. What am I gonna do? Who cares? They won't realize that until they meet you. And like I said, once you know them in real life, they are useless. And let's just say you're a business owner and you wanna get the word out about your company. Once again, with a little creative writing, you can use your Yelp page to tell the story you want told. And you get to create fun characters you pretend are your customers. For example, Cindy B says, when a trusted friend recommended Ronnie's used cars, I was worried about being taken advantage of. But Ronnie immediately put me at ease. <laughs> you see, exclamation points make it seem sincere. He gave me a fantastic price on an excellent vehicle that totally didn't break down the next day. And he had such a handsome smile. Creative writing isn't just about naked lying. You can also use it to build your brand on Twitter. And the angrier you are, the more attention you'll get. For example, don't just tweet, watching the Olympics. Instead, add, how come the Swedish team doesn't have more black athletes? Huh? Now it's only a matter of time before you're guest hosting on MSNBC. So there you have it. Some really useful ways that creative writing can work for you. And you could also use it to write a book or something. But I mean, <laughs> who reads anymore, honestly?